Justin Bieber was seen kissing and getting hugged on from the back by Jaden Smith at Coachella. But what makes this even more cringy is that this is just the tip of the iceberg. Justin Bieber found his way to God a couple of years ago, but it seems as if his demons came back seven times more stronger and wicked than they were before, okay? And this video that I'm about to show you guys is going to only prove what I am saying, okay? Let's go ahead and hop into this video. I really want y'all to see this because it's an important thing that we can understand when it comes to doing the same things that God has brought you out of, okay? So before we hop into this video, please do me a quick favor. Hit that like button so YouTube can push this to more people like yourself with the algorithm, okay? It really helps a lot. I appreciate you guys so much. Let's go ahead and hop into this video right now. I don't care what nobody say. Everybody is on some diddy shit, bro. The industry, I'm glad. Well, hmm. yeah, most, yeah, mostly I am glad everybody is on some diddy shit. Okay, so real quick, I mean... First of all, I get it. They're young. Justin Bieber's not that young. I think he's older than me. I'm 28. I think he's older than me. This is the kind of behavior you would expect out of someone who's like 12 and 13 years old because they don't really get the concept of things that they're doing. But you would never expect adults to be doing this. He's hugged up on him from the back. Justin Bieber's looking at him in a very feminine I don't care manner. What nobody's saying. Look at that. They're dancing together. Everybody is on some dick. That right there. That is, we're not in the culture of kissing, okay? <laughs> this ain't French. Uh, we're not French people. This right here is weird, okay? You can't put anything behind it. They're friends. No friends kiss each other on the cheek like that. That's just weird. We, we don't really take each other's space like that. We give each other personal space here in America. That right there is creepy, okay? But like I said, it gets worse than that. Let's go on to the next video because it's, it's going to just get worse and worse, okay? Okay, I want you to tell me what do you guys see? Okay, when you see this video, you got to look very closely, okay? I'm going to take the audio off because there's some music playing. Look and see what this looks like. This is creepy behavior. There's no way you can go around it, okay? Let's look at this real quick. What does that look like? What does that look like? That's Odell Beckham, if I'm not mistaken, that's his name. And that's Justin Bieber at a party. This, I mean, I can't explain it. It looks like some weird, holly weird stuff to me, but maybe I'm tripping. Let me know what y'all think this looks like. It gets even crazier. What in the world? Brother, so, good. Selling out arena. Somebody said that was a pastor. How can you get around this right here? This is not, this is unacceptable behavior. The Bible tells us to carry ourselves. If you're a man, carry yourself as a man, dress like a man, behave like a man, and vice versa if you're a woman. This right here is not that. So for him to co go from singing with Maverick City, being on, uh, going to church events, attending different churches to now this, his demons got way more wicked, okay, to the point where they are comfortable being who he is. They're comfort comfortable doing abominable things. This is weird. Some It says it's a pastor. I'm not exactly sure if it is. But this right here is not heteronormal behavior. <laughs> I'm you, can't, you can't go around that. You cannot go around that. That is crazy. Okay, that is wild, man. That's wild. There's nothing you can say about that one. He tried to kiss another man on the lips. Justin Bieber may have some battles, some demons with that homosexuality, okay? He may. I don't know. I wouldn't kiss another man on the lips, would you? Let's, let's, let's look at this video because this one right here... This kind of shows you what he had to deal with because a part of me does feel bad for Justin because he came up as a young, young guy into this horrible, corrupt music industry, right? And he had to face this monster known as P. Diddy, okay? He had to 
be with him. He was with him for 48 hours. P. Diddy took him to his house. And P. Diddy had a video saying that he was going to let him ride his car. And he was going to buy him a car, I believe. And he was going to take him shopping. And this is the video after all of that took place, okay? How are you that young brother, everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, no, you, no, ain't, no. you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't... I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's 55. Five, Diddy. Five, you know. So he said, Diddy tells him, you haven't been hitting me up, bro. What's up? I haven't heard from you for a while. After Diddy had this 48-hour period with him alone. We don't know what he's done, but obviously it's traumatizing. And he says, well, um, well, uh, you, you never took down my number. He's like praying for some kind of excuse. You didn't take down my number as if that was a legitimate excuse. No, he's traumatized by Diddy. Obviously, he probably still is. This is when he was younger. He's traumatized by him. So part of me does feel bad because of what he's been through because of this man right here. And Usher giving him off to him. That's crazy, man. I'm telling y'all, these people that we listen to, who people idolize in the music industry, a lot of it is not what it seems, okay? It's a lot worse than what it looks like. Trust me, there's a price for this. A price has to be paid. Let's continue on. Used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't, I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But... You, you never really got my number, so. Right, okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you my number. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's five, five. Diddy is asking him if he has a wire. Justin says no. Then Diddy checks to see if he has a wire. Yo, this is some sick shit, man. Wow. It looks like Diddy is asking. It was hard. So, okay, okay, let's talk about this one real quick, okay? So. P. Diddy walks up to him. This is after all the accusations from P. Diddy. He, he met up with Justin. Um, he's patting him as if Justin Bieber has a wire on him. Why? Why are you doing this to Justin Bieber? Okay, you have to think about things behind the scene. Maybe because Justin Bieber knows some things and has been through some things. And P. Diddy, who's been accused after getting his home raided, accused of doing some crazy, egregious downright disgusting acts and who would be better to know the evil inside of P. Diddy than Justin Bieber who spent 48 hours with him by himself as a young child not an adult a young child of course you're going to pat him of course you're going to be skeptical of course you're going to be nervous something went on and we don't know what happened all we know is that he was traumatized from the video that we seen after. This stuff is wicked, man. It's wicked, yo. It's some real crazy stuff going on out here. All right, let's 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 finish this up. We got another minute. Let's watch this one right here. Sick shit, man. Being that young and being in the it was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone, you know, telling me they love me and you know just turn their back on you in a second. Um, so if she ever needs me, I'm going to be here for her. But, um, but yeah, just protecting those moments because people take for granted uh, encounters. And um, I just want to protect her, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want her to go through anything I went through. I don't wish that upon anybody. Yeah, if she ever needs me, I'm, I'm just a call away. Do you realize how important your story is? Every time I have a conversation with someone who's been through this unique type of experience, mm -hmm. I'm just I'm searching for some kind of truth that can help. I commend you for going there and uh, asking the tough questions and the things that people don't want to talk about and they don't want to go there because it's just, it's revealing and it's... Okay. Is there anything I want... If that did not convince you that he has been through some traumatizing events regarding sexual manners, I don't know what else will. Like he said, he wants to protect. I don't know who the lady he's speaking of. He says he wants to protect her. If there's anything he can do because he doesn't want her to go through what he went through as a young child or as a young adult coming up in this music industry. He went through some crazy stuff. 
probably from the people that we're talking about now, okay? And he doesn't want that to happen to whatever whoever he's talking to. Look at his demeanor and the tone of his voice. Listen to that. He is literally crying out. This is a full grown adult by this by this time he's a full grown adult. He's a full, he's probably 25, 26 in this time maybe a little bit older, I don't know, but crying out. Look at his face. Remembering the the memories that he has been through when he was getting you know I don't know if I can say it on YouTube, but it starts with a G and rhymes with roomed, okay? Um, this, is, uh, this is happening all over in Hollywood. This is happening all over in the music industry. It's happening in the entertainment industry where you got actors that's coming out, the whole Nickelodeon thing that just came out. Dude, stop idolizing these people. Stop, ideal, uh, stop idolizing these people, okay? Stop putting money in their pockets, because this is the results, okay? Tell your kids to stop trying to be like every other rapper out there. Idolize Jesus Christ. Idolize God. Read the Bible to your children. Pray for them. Pray for your family. This stuff is real, man. It's real. This is crazy. So I got, let's look at this real quick. Now, this was the comments that was on the video of him speaking um, to the interviewer. He said, this is why Diddy turned down Chris Brown when he was younger because Chris's mother wasn't having it. Mama Joyce for the win. So Chris Brown um, probably had some type of contract getting worked up with Diddy when he was younger. And his mom said, Hex, no, no. And that's why him and Diddy never worked together. There's a video showing Chris Brown and P, P. Diddy on top of P. Diddy's bed and his mansion that little bit that big bed that they jump on and chris brown was nervous around him <laughs> i would be too this one says the fact that he's actively cradling himself is speaking that he's com comforting himself in a moment he's reliving trauma exactly exactly right there cradling himself that's body language of thinking about a moment post-traumatic stress disorder thinking about a horrible moment I remember he wanted to protect Billie Eilish because she's too young. That's the trauma right there, man. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. Do not try to be like these people. This is what happens. Now, I don't want to bring up this dude because he just said that he was God and he pretty much just went crazy, okay, Kanye West, after um, having his two-year spill of being a Christian and making Christian music and all that and going to church, doing songs with Kirk Franklin. Um, but this is what we're supposed to do as fathers and mothers and parents protecting our children. Shout out to Kanye for this, okay? If we're going to give him any flowers, it's for this. I don't know who this dude is walking up to him, but look what Kanye does. That's what we're supposed to do when we have children and we see somebody who shouldn't be around our children, around our children, okay? This world is evil and wicked. Um, I believe that Justin didn't want to be like this because he grew up Christian. He was singing in church. Then he was found by Usher. And then he got into the entertainment industry and it screwed him up. He tried to come bring his way back to God and he got back into doing the same stuff that he used to do. But this time his demons are more wicked and stronger. I don't know if he can recover from this. The Bible says it is hard for someone to recover from that. When you leave the faith, it's hard to come back. Um, so we got, pray for Justin. It's not over for him. Justin hasn't renounced the faith. He has not blasphemed the Holy Spirit. He's just lost. And this right here shows it because this is not the same Justin that was on stage singing with uh, Maverick City. I don't this care ain't him. Nobody's shit, bro. That everybody is on some diddy. Shit. That's not the same Justin. Okay. Um, it's crazy though. It's crazy, man. This is what the enter entertainment industry does to you. Um, look, man. Let me know what y'all think about this video. All right, in the comment section. Um, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, man. Hit that subscribe button, okay? And hit the post notification bell so you don't miss another video, okay?
My name is Aaron Page. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video, all right? Until next time, I'm out.